Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So we're going to have the Siege of Neverwinter event just upcoming this Thursday. And with it we can see that we're going to be able to obtain rewards much like the Harvester of Nightmares or the Hell Pit event where we can earn these tokens of participation, tokens of challenge and also tokens of achievement. Now the setup is going to be very simple and you could say it's somewhat of a rework but not really. All they've done is change up the questing system. So we're still going to have this same area with these dragons and these heroic encounters where we're just going to have to go and complete our daily quest and if you go and complete this daily quest which is called the siege of neverwinter you will obtain a token of participation and once you complete this quest 14 times you can then go and start earning tokens of challenge and you will also on that 14th time earn a token of achievement now we can see with the update of the store here that we can now obtain this new mythic companion, the Air Genasi. And this will cost you the same amount of tokens that it would cost you to get the Golden Warhorse. That be five tokens. Now I've been fortunate enough to get the Air Genasi and I've tested it out in a previous video where I butcher the pronunciation. Now you can also see we can get a mythic bag of holding replacing the previous legendary one. I'm assuming it probably has the same 60 slots as you get from in the Zen store. But that's one token of achievement. Theoretically, yes, you could get one of these per event. But you could save up five of them and get the Mythic Genasi or the Golden Warhorse, both being account wide. So you could go and jump to your claims valuable and claim it on all of your characters, which is very beneficial for giving that extra bolster for your different characters. That's if you play on multiple characters. Now, otherwise, nothing's really changed with this event those challenge tokens still the same stuff those participation tokens still the same stuff there as well they have updated the stone of health to look legendary and otherwise you can go and still obtain these previous rewards as we can see within the collections here from the siege of neverwinter you'll still be able to obtain that siege breaker griffin you'll still be able to obtain that battlefield medic and otherwise a bunch of different items along with the artifact and this never ember guard archer now those can be obtained by completing the breaking the siege quest and that will reward you this pack which has the chance to obtain those rewards we still have yet to see when this event actually goes live how often you can repeat that quest could be just once per day per character or something like that the siege breaker Brute griffin does look pretty cool but again it's not really any difference than our other griffin mounts that we have there are quite a numerous amount of them at this point within the game this being the siege breaker charger mount which you could get here's the regal armored griffin which will look very similar to the siege breaker griffin just the siege breaker won't have that armor on it however a big question for those of you building up a guild would be can we still receive those vouchers that when you kill enemies we had a chance we could drop numerous amounts of these different vouchers which you can donate to your stronghold you'll get your guild marks and your stronghold then be able to use those resources to upgrade certain buildings vital for the growth of those different guilds trying to get to that guild level 20. Right now, there's no word of them still going to be able to drop. But when I do find out, I'll be sure to let you guys know in the comment section below. Now, you may be wondering about those siege supplies, which we were able to craft from our professions. Well, it seems those have also have no use anymore. You won't be able to craft them. You won't be able to trade them in. But hopefully they have said in the blog post that for a limited time, the Quartermaster in Protector's Enclave will accept those currencies to purchase items from the original runs of the Siege of Neverwinter. Again, not entirely sure what that means. Possibly you'll still be able to exchange those defense supplies for some reward. Again, we're going to have to see. And this event again will begin this Thursday and will end on December the 2nd, that lasting for a whole three weeks, giving us the ability to grind out and get that token of achievement. So hopefully this has been somewhat insightful to you guys, just an overview of what's going to change with the Siege of Neverwinter and the new rewards that we can obtain. So again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.